My name is Jamie Wahlberg, and this is my My Brain Moment video. Pain, eight. Nausea, five. Exhaustion, four. These numbers continue to go through my mind every single day as I suffer from new daily persistent headaches. I got sick a little over two years ago. It started with vestibular neuritis and I was bedridden for eight and a half months. And during that time, I began to get headaches, which was something I never experienced. Before I knew it, I was going in and out of the hospital constantly through pain to get different scans. They thought I had MS. Eventually, they decided that I had new daily persistent headache as I have extreme headache every single day. My headache spans from the front of my head to the back and actually down to my neck. It causes me to be debilitated, to not be able to work the job that I want, to not be able to date without consequence because then I have to worry about what they're going to think about my illness. It stops me from being able to be the happiest, healthiest person that I can be. I've spent thousands of dollars. My family has spent tens of thousands of dollars, more than that, on my medical care. Every single week, I am doing everything that I can to get better. And part of why I'm not getting better is because there's not enough research done about headache disorders and conditions. There are millions of people who are suffering every single day. And it wasn't until I was bedridden and dealing it with, with it myself that I actually realized how debilitating headaches are and how little people care about them. A lot of illnesses or debilitations can be seen with the naked eye and NDPH cannot. It actually is interesting because I am also a trans man and I've been transitioning for the last few months. Through this time, I've actually found the correlation between my pain for my NDPH and my pain from my dysphoria and what I'm going through. The fact that when people look at me, they don't see all of the pain that I've dealt with for almost 27 years in a body that is not mine. And it's really easy to see my body is not mine when there is this horrible condition running my life. I finally got out of bed and when I did and I wasn't bedridden anymore, all I wanted to do was to get healthier and happier. And I can't get healthier and happier unless there's awareness that brings the urgency of research so that we can properly treat me and everybody else who's suffering from headache conditions. I've tried every single treatment you can imagine. I've been on over 60 medications. I've done nerve blocks. I've done Botox. I've done neurofeedback. I've done craniosacral therapy. I've done experimental drips. I've done chiropractics. I'm a medical marijuana patient. I've done absolutely everything I can to get my life back. I'm going to be 27 years old, and I haven't been able to have a real solid romantic relationship, hold an appropriate job that pays enough to cover my medical expenses. I haven't been able to go out nights dancing or anything that I want to do that any normal person who's 27 does. And that's because when people look at me, they don't see what I'm going through, and therefore they don't care what I'm going through. Bringing awareness to the country, to the world, about headache conditions is the first step to curing them. I highly recommend that you take the time to listen to those who are experiencing this pain. Believe them when they say that they have this pain and do everything you can to spread awareness. Make them feel validated. I have spent over two years with this pain and a lot of people still don't believe me that I'm experiencing it every day. And it's probably because it sounds outrageous, but it's not. NDPH is my life, but it's not all I am. And it shouldn't be.